What is up, heroes? It's Minute Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey Blind. This is, of course, another patron pick video, so thank you so much to the patrons for choosing this game that I've actually been enjoying quite a bit, and apparently you guys have as well. Now, where to next? I believe there was a, a hole in the desert that we've got to fix, and things have only gotten colder, and apparently there's some zombie things? What are these? Can I, uh... I get coins from them, I guess. Oh, interesting. I don't fill up my my heart from... Oh, does the hat only stun them? What is it again? It's like... I'm trying to remember how to do the... That's how you do it. Okay. Regardless, I should stop messing around with the controls. Like I always do. And head on over to... I don't know. That hole in the desert, right? I guess I can fast travel, can't I? Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea to me. So we gotta make our way over there. Let's... That's in the castle. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's a neat... That's a neat animation. I like how they did that. Cool, so we made our way up here. Let's see if the moon does anything. Oh! That's pretty neat. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't, I don't want to go on that. Am I going to take fall damage? We're about to find out. No, I guess not. Dang, those things are all over the place. How is it that I roll again? This is how I roll. That's so funny. What's going on with you over here, buddy? Welcome to Osterina. <laughs> here to see the sights? You know about the action guide, right? I, I do. Oh, wait, no, I, I hit show me, though. <sighs> Let's look at the action guide. You can open. Why did I... I'm sure I talked to him already. What about these guys over there, though? I, I can't tell if they're shivering because they're cold or what. Probably. Can you go down there, please? Follow the light. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll do it. Although, did I see something up here? Hope you guys don't mind all of my exploration. Ooh, that's that's cool. I dig the whole long jump into rolling. That's pretty funny. That's how I would speed run the game. <laughs> Alright, in we go. I can't do anything now. Let's see what's down here. Whoa! I sense ice physics. So that's probably our way out, presumably. But it looks, guys, like we're in the underground temple. Yep. Oh, those are ice physics, all right. I do not generally like ice physics, unfortunately. Because they find their way into every game, every platformer I play. Whoa, that was, that was weird, camera. Alright, that's 43. Only 43 out of 100, despite having how only only two missing moons at the moment. Alright, we got a Goomba here. Take care of you. Is my whole hat gonna go through that entire thing? Only one way to find out. It is! That's pretty cool. Cool. So we just activated the trap, more or less. What's going on up here? Ah, nice, nice normal physics. Ooh, hidden coin. I'm sure there's... Is there something up there? Oh, there's. I see a moon up there. How about up here, though? Anything up there? Well, we'll hopefully see soon enough. We have quite the Tower of Goombas. So I'm, I've clearly got to make use of that. Oh, no! It's trimming away at the Goombas. I need to... How am I even going to get up there in the first place, though? Oh! This is how. Although I'm afraid I might already be too small. Yeah! No! Um, shake the Joy-Con to high jump? Oh! That looked like it was enough. Let's see if we can high jump over there. 
and make that work. I don't feel, I feel like even if I were, um, oh, darn it. That was not exactly what I wanted to do, but... Darn. I, uh... I know we're, we've got to do something with that. Maybe... Well, I definitely was supposed to hang on to the Goomba Tower for those coins, so we'll have to come back here. Figure it out eventually. And that's alright. No, 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 no. That, that though, would not be alright. <laughs> we can afford to take a minute. I know these are going to stop once they're, uh... Whoa, that was not what I wanted. Alright, let's let's chill for a moment, Mario. Ooh, we going to take over a bullet bill? What's up with this bullet bill, though? It's got, like, a visor. Oh! That's what the visor does. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, did we accidentally... We did. Come on, Bullet Bill. Got places to go. We're going this way. Can I can I see where I'm going? Aw oh, man. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Well, we'll do this so we don't die. But um I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to, as a bullet bill, come over here and get those and the moon. I just completely lost track of where I was, though. Generally speaking, I like to ground pound on these frozen platforms, so you'll notice me trying to do that every time I can, really. Alright, let's try this again. There's hat one, and hat two. Alright. In the words of uh, the, the plumber himself, oh man, I missed one. Ah, oh, I thought I had to um, release the bullet bill to get enough height to actually do that, but seems it was unsuccessful. So now we wait again, very, very patiently, I might add. Isn't that right, pupper? Watching me. Alright, take three. Hopefully we can get that last coin and then the moon. The moon looked like it was a bit too high. So, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it definitely was. So I'm fairly confident we're going to need to... Um, dang, these ice physics. That was not what I wanted to do. For the record, I wanted to jump and do a ground pound, but for some reason I ended up doing a backwards long jump. Or just a long jump for that matter. Alright, let's head on over again. See if we can do this. We at least have that. Oh man. I, I'm fairly confident that's how I've got to get it though. You know? I mean, I could try with the Goomba Tower again. That's all I can think of. But I still feel like that's too high. Hmm. Right? Is there some other means of getting it? I guess I could go up here and see what's up here, maybe? I don't know. Run away from the Goombas! I lost him. Anything of interest? Doesn't seem so. Maybe... Maybe what I needed to do was jump onto that Tower of Goombas with this one, but because this one already fell. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the death and experiment. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. This is how I play games. I, I experiment around, I see what I can do, I try to find all the secrets and everything, and, um, well, I'm playing a game. So, naturally, 
That's what we're gonna do. All right. So, oh wait, I should have gone over there first. All right, well, we'll do that. Let's head on over and get this guy. Don't have to worry about ice physics, which is really nice. Jump up here. And then, no! <sighs> Wanted hat, okay, good. There we go. Now this should be able to get it. <laughs> wow, what a stack of Goombas. There we go, what's this one called? Goomba Tower Assembly. It's fitting. And now we only have one more moon. That's pretty crazy. I wonder what happens if we... I kind of want to go like this simply for the sake of not having to deal with the ice physics along the way. It's pretty funny. Playing around as a huge tower of Goombas. Alright, I think that'll... Uh, I wonder what happens if I... Can I jump on this? No, I can't. Okay. But it looks like... Oh, I thought it was stuck on the, the flower thing. That would be pretty funny. Okay, now we've actually got to deal with this. Apologies for the delay. Some of you were probably not too interested in that. Alright. Away we go. Oh, and I only need to make it to here. Cool. Before we need to do this again. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit more to dodge this time around. But it doesn't look like it'll actually be all that crazy. Here we are. And it looks like we made it to the end. Are there any secrets lurking I'm just simply not aware of? Doesn't seem so. Then we'll just woohoo all the way through. Oh, deepest underground. Dang, I'm loving how the environments look. This is so cool. What's down here? That's so tempting. Oh my goodness, when Mario is shivering like that, I can feel the rumble of the, the Joy-Cons. That's great. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Can I? Well, I guess I can't. Fair enough. Um, probably gotta do something with it. I see some breakable pillar blocks. So we'll we'll mess around with that. Can do something like this. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I if I hit that I'll probably break it for good. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna do that. I think what I need to do <laughs> is guide the other bullet bills over there. But if I hit it myself, I'll die. So you can come on over. Come on over, bud. Aw, oh, man. No, 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 don't die! Okay, we're good. So that didn't work. Actually, you know what? I probably just need to bullet bill over there. Who am I kidding? Rather than <laughs> cause things to crash and make a path or anything like that, I just need to get over here. So over here, we came. Whoa. Were those two, like, giant bullet bills? They looked like they had, like, crowns on them, or... No! Those are just fists. Where ring go? Dang. You take ring? Nope, nope. Did not take the rings. Can confirm to not take ring. Not married. Not married. Believe me, you would know. You'd be invited. Ouch. Uh, so when he hits the... Uh... Oh, darn it. Um, when they hit the ice, that's when they're vulnerable. What do I do? Oh, I can take advantage of them. Interesting. So I take over his fist and then hit him with it. Wow, that's actually really funny. I like that a lot. That's a really cool mechanic. Cool. So what do we have going on here? Aw, oh, I thought I could jump over them. I was wrong. <laughs> I was definitely wrong. You can hit this one. Oh. There we go. Thank you. And you can come on over here. Cool. So you're going to be hurt. We'll take over here. Ooh. Mixing up. There we go. Hit number two. This is the punch-out game I needed. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, that Wind Waker boss. Obviously, I mean, it's just hands with... Or uh, boss with two hands, right? Like, there's the Wind Waker boss. There's uh, the, the Pyramid boss from the Mario 64. If, if this is a reference to that, that is super cool. How am I supposed to avoid this? 
That reminds me of Master Hand's, like, types of attacks. We're doing fine, though. That's gonna hurt him. Cool. Now they're gonna switch into this type of attack mode. We're accelerating and kaboom! One punch! Except actually three punches! <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the One Punch anime, oof, it is a quality show. And we've got a multi moon! A bundle of bananas! And I think that should be the last from this world. I find it crazy that I think we got all of the moons in the Sand Kingdom, yet... Oh, that that jingle, that celebration is great. I think we have all the moons from here, but we only have like half of the, the purple inverted triangle coins. That's crazy. I'll have to come back and collect those, obviously. Reminds me a lot of Banjo, with like the notes and the jiggies. I mean, makes sense. 3D platforming, collectathons, right? Whew, it's so hot now, but I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. If we keep up this pace, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. Do we have enough power moves to reach the next kingdom? I sure hope so. If you want to check, put me on the globe. Then put you on the globe, we will. We got plenty of moons. How many do we need? Do we, did we just need six more? Or what? Oh, 24 is the next one. The Odyssey has powered up. Cool. Not surprised. So we can go somewhere else. Uh, given that the Sand Kingdom is all warm, I'm sure there are a whole bunch of new places to explore and everything. Uh-oh, we've hit a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you want? Do you think Bowser went to? The Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom? Ooh. I... For your guys' sake, I'll probably have some episode later on where I go around and collect some of like the coins from each place to, to collect them all. But what will probably be more interesting for you guys is moving to a new kingdom. So if I, if I were working on my own time, not necessarily your guys' time as well, I would probably go through and collect everything, all the coins. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. If you are, I'll just, I'll, I mean, I can talk and we can, we can chat and hang out while I go look for them. But if not, I might even just do it off screen and it's not a huge deal if you don't if you don't think you're missing out on much. But regardless, we got the Lake Kingdom versus the Wooded Kingdom. Personally, I think the Wooded Kingdom looks a bit cooler. The water, the Lake Kingdom could be really beautiful, but I don't like swimming in water levels. So we're going to go to the Wooded Kingdom. I mean, we're inevitably going to end up in the Lake Kingdom anyways, right? I'm a completionist. Of course, we're going to end up there. But regardless, the Wooded Kingdom, a splendid idea. All right. So, oh, we actually have 24 moons already. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, I want to go back and explore more. Same with the Cascade Kingdom. We really didn't check out everything this place has to offer. But for now, we'll go to the Wooded Kingdom. But we will certainly be coming back. And away we go. Kind of reminds me of Pikmin. That's a game I need to get back to. This game kind of gives me similar vibes. Obviously not in the gameplay aspect, but... Kind of like the... The attitude, the demeanor, the feel. Kind of like relaxing, fun exploration. The the color palette and everything. I don't know, I just... I, I get similar vibes. He kidnapped Tiara, and now with this binding band, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? I wouldn't put it past him. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Oh, thanks. Travel tip. Homing cap throw. Is that a... What is that? Shake the Wiimote after... Wiimote. Wow. Um, after throwing the cap? After throwing your cap, shake the Joy-Con again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guy, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful soiree bouquet. I'm intrigued. I'm excited to see, knowing how this game has been up until this point, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Whoa! I was not wrong. <laughs> it is indeed beautiful. The kind of, like, worn-down, rustic, industrial tech amongst 
the greenery reminds me of Nier as well, for those of you that have played, well, Nier Automata. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, do you hear something? I do. I hear plenty of things. I also see that the icon for the new coins is different than it was in the previous place. I believe it's a... Uh, it looks like a, like a nut. What do we have there? What's this here? Ooh. Some hidden coins. And then what's this in the back? Is this a moon? Okay, no. I was going to say. That'd be kind of crazy. But what about up here? Can we wall kick through this? Almost. Let's see here. No! Close. Maybe if we start off a little bit higher up. There we go. Cool, I'm, I, I'm already loving this place. And is that a, a Sphinx over there? What in the world are you? These events have initiated my panic and spin routines. Panic and spin. A servant of the Bowser monster was illegally existing during the last watering cycle. An unidentified object flew by. Wow, looks like a lot's going on. Oh, and these guys are back. Crazy cap. Initiating first greeting dialogue. There are two types of coins. <laughs> the coins work anywhere, but other coins work only in the kingdom where you found them. Initiating shopping subroutine. <laughs> Spend money. <laughs> Ooh, so we got explorer stuff. The scientist visor. Ooh, I gotta save it for the scientist stuff. That's pretty neat. Please come again and buy things. And what do you have over here? <laughs> Spend money. We have acquired many products to sell. We'll buy ourselves the Wooded Kingdom Power Moon, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's do a little jingle. Do a little dance. Hey, we got a moon. And it's... Oh, it's blue this time. Neat. What else do you have available? Um, That was not intended, but that's okay, I guess. Mechanic cap. Again, the boxer shorts. We're getting closer. We have, what, 577 coins? It's only a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I guess we'll keep exploring this way. What do you have to say? We are programmed to grow flowers. The flowers are programmed to grow. <laughs> That's funny. Are we going to be able to catch you? Oh, come on. I feel like I need to be able to, um... There we go. Really, a moon? Cool. It reminds me, of course, of the uh, the bunny from Mario 64, the little yellow bunny, caught hopping in the forest. Anything else of interest over this way? Uh, it doesn't seem so, at least immediately. Ooh, I see some more stuff of interest. Can we climb this tree? Oh, we can. Oh, and I can shake that to uh, climb faster. That's pretty cool. What's up with this sphinx? I'm really curious. Oh, can we talk to you? You're going to give us some, uh, riddles? Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? Here it is! That's great. What does the Bowser monster want from this kingdom? Flowers. Because those would be used for a bouquet. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Yeah, that's not a riddle at all. Anywho, proceed. Alright, I guess. Um, I want to explore over there. Does it look like there are any other climbable trees that warrant... Doing so doesn't seem so just yet. What do we have here? Can I read you? Backward somersault. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, no, I hit the L and A. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it over here. Appreciate the tips. Anything up there? No, it doesn't seem so. All right, then we're heading out of here. And over into this world. What is on the ground here? That's what's on the ground over here. <laughs> Just leave that poison to me. Poison? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and this music. I guess I can, uh... What is it? I can do the... Like... How do I do the thing where it's like that... I love the sound effect. That was really close. 
clean up all of this. I feel like we had to do something with that. Hmm, maybe not. We'll see. I'm sure we'll see soon enough. Anyways, enough of that. We've more or less cleared up a good amount of it. Oh, we can use that to take a good look at things. Some coins down there. Any enemies, though? Regardless, let's take a look from the uh, mile high view. Can I? Please? Oh, that's how we do it. So we've got the road to the Sky Garden over there. And that's where we're aiming to go. Which means we gotta go up here and then across over there. But we still got a whole bunch of. Whoa! That's over there. There's a whole bunch of stuff over that way. Down there. Up there, presumably. Back there. Over there. There's a door there. Dang, there is there's a lot to this world. Fine. Oh, and there's stuff down there. Alright, we're gonna start off by exploring over here, actually. Because I am the most curious about this. Whoa! Hello? Hold B to stretch. Interesting. That's so funny. I mean, I guess... I guess we can do that. <laughs> this is so funny. What is that gonna do? Is it gonna eat me? Oh, there's a moon in it! The nut round the corner. <laughs> Alright, I guess... I mean, I guess that works. Anything else to do over here? Nothing? Can we climb the walls with, uh, with the vines? No? Anything down there? It looks like maybe, but probably not. Oh, no, definitely not. Alright, then I guess we're good over there for now. What happens if I jump in here? That's what happens. Alright, so we can swim with B while we're in here. We can obviously get these coins. Is there anything else of value, though? Dang. They even have, like, fish swimming around everything. That's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go up and get some air first. And then, uh... We'll head back down. Look at him holding his breath. Those puffed out cheeks. What's going on down here? Little, little hidden area? Ooh. Oh. So, clearly we're on a timer. Oh. I thought it was going to go all the way up. That would have been less than ideal. We got some fuzzies here to deal with. Obviously, it's going to be more difficult to deal with them when they're all... When we're at, you know, level with them because of the water height and everything. So we need to take advantage of it while we can. Ooh, I didn't realize that that was, like, a good way to really get down. That's helpful. Okay, how do we want to do this? We'll go up like that, and then we can go through here like that, and... That works! Cool, give me that moon! Flooding Pipeway. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the aesthetic. I'm digging this game in general. Honestly, this might be my favorite Mario game. I feel like... From a replayability standpoint, I don't think it has the same... It, it's strange. It feels like there's so much to explore. And there's really, like, a whole bunch when it comes to... I don't know. Uh, just, like, collectibles and everything. The coins feel meaningful, so it feels like it's a better game. But at the same time, I can't shake the feeling that I, I would get more replayability out of Mario 64. I would go back to that more often. Alright, and now we wait a second. <laughs> Good to know that these come back within a you know, decent time manner. Can I climb up this? I can. If I stay on it, that is. <laughs> Do I look like plant food to you? <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so these things are obviously what are causing all of the poison to go around. And I can defeat them by throwing Cappy at them. 
and ground pounding. Let's see here. What do we have here? What's around the corner? I feel like there's something hidden back here. Ooh, what might you be? There's a... Is that a hammer bro? That is indeed a hammer bro. Am I supposed to defeat you or what? I can't use Cappy. So I think the idea is I'm supposed to avoid his attacks and then ground pound him or jump on him? Alright, I guess... We take those! <laughs> Give me that moon! Fire in the cave. Alright. Sounds good to me. I'll take my hat back, sir. Can I not? Cappy! Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like, uh... Cappy, we, we have things to do. Oh man, really? Are they all back? That's a bummer. Is there... Yeah, there's gotta be something up here. Ooh, that is, uh... That is really high up there. I feel like I need to... Uh, the goal is to double jump. And then, or make somehow triple jump up here in this tight space. Let's see here. You gotta time it right, obviously. Hmm. Why is my... I don't know why, my, my, my Joy-Con was acting up there. It was like, all of a sudden I would just like stop, freeze, you know? Yes, I know, I'm on one health. Thank you, game. I appreciate your uh, vigilance. We'll go up this way. Anything of interest in here? Just coins? Oh, that's what I was looking for. Oh, it's only one though. I didn't even realize that. What? Okay, there we go. Clear that up. I want to see what's on here. So there's a block there. Hmm. I'm not confident in how to get that, so we'll we'll save that for another day. I know how to get it. <laughs> and away we go. That's pretty cool. Alright. Back up we go. <laughs> Such a funny, like, type of motion, I guess. Anything to do up here? Nothing? No. Really? What happens if I hit these? Oh, they break. So I guess I'll stop doing that. Just got them to take each other out. <laughs> I guess that works. Oh, interesting. So I can push the different parts of the puzzle like that. Can I wall jump up there? Doesn't look like there's too much to be gained from it. Hey, we got ourselves another moon. Can I not get it as this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I was going to say, that would be pretty funny if we do like a little dance while in this form. Cool, back down we go. Oh, I guess I can't just run into them. Shockingly, I know. But if I jump on top of them, that's how I can defeat them. I see. Oh, but they just keep coming back. Alright. No! No, 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 no! Aw, oh, man. Alright, well... Let's see here. Is there anything to be gained from going up here? Some secret coins, but nothing too crazy. Uh, do we have more of these available? No, but do we really need them? No. We're a wall jumping! Oh, I'm, I'm going out. Come on. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. You can do it. I believe in you. Keep wall jumping. 
Eat wall jump in. Oh, but I'm not gonna be able to do anything once I'm up here, obviously. All I can think of is maybe oh, really? Trying to like triple jump? What is going on here? I feel like my, my controls are so weird. No, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay. I really want to get these. And why can't why am I having a tough time triple jumping? I feel like if I triple jump here, I should be able to get them. Right? Like, I don't think that's too crazy of a thing to think of. Alright, you know what? It's not worth it right now. It's really not. But I really feel like we should be able to. Regardless, we are in Iron Road, the halfway point. Oh, I guess I could have thrown that. Ooh, we can use that. Kick that around. Although, for what it's worth, I'm not too really concerned with it. Let's see. Oh, it'll really only take just one hit. This is a big moon to get, apparently, because we're doing the whole animation. On the road to Sky Garden. Oh, this is like a checkpoint thing. We needed this moon to be able to even go there. So what does this P-Block do? We saw one of these in the Sand Kingdom, but we never got the chance to actually see what it does. Flower Thieves of Sky Garden. Alright. We'll see what we can do. Whoa. It's, it's still fundamentally a P-Block, like from the old Mario games, but it's so different. I wonder if I can play this with a uh, GameCube controller. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want... Look at that. I wasn't even moving there. I, like, let go of the control stick, and all of a sudden Mario was, like, going off on his own. This is what happens when I move, and then, like, I stop. But did you see that before, where he was going, like, all the way over here? That was... This was... <laughs> this must be the drifting Joy-Con, guys. Alright. Safe enough for the time being. We're gonna want to do that after we, uh... What's it called? Get up to the top. Cool. That's definitely an easier way to do that, so... <laughs> we'll definitely take that route if we can. We got a moon! Nice! And what's to be gained by going on this P-Switch? Is it a... Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Mario, run! Run, Mario, run! I did not realize that the path disappeared like that. Or at least that quickly, even. Cool. Oops. Again, not really what I was looking to do. Can this game be played with a GameCube controller? I feel like that would be my preferred means of doing so. Oh! It kind of, like, cycles through it. Alright, well, regardless... What I wanted to do was drop down like this, and then jump over. But it was pretty difficult to control him in that tight area while dashing around pretty quickly, and it showed. However, do I still have... Oh, I get coins for those. Interesting. Do I still have my, my four bolts? I'm sure we'll see soon enough. I'm not going to find out unless I go over there and look. I've got to go over there and look, guys. This will be helpful knowledge for future generations of Marios that die at my hands. Okay, we do. That's good. Now we can take the safer route back. Ah, oh, I wanted to go back for that one coin. But I missed. Alright, now what do we have going on with this particular path? I feel like with this camera perspective, things should be getting kind of wild soon. But I'm not seeing any roadblocks, any enemies, forks in the road, gaps, anything like that. Interesting. Alright, so we're in Sky Garden Tower. I feel like we could, uh, 
we were like a speedrunner or something, we could wall jump up there, but we are not. What's on the ground level first? Nothing of interest. Alright. So we're going to hit this. It's going to open up a path that... Oh, you know what? How am I going to get those, though? I need to be one of those, I don't know, nut things. That's totally what it needs to be. Alright, well, we'll go up normally then, for the time being at least. Yep, there we go. So up here we go. Aw, oh, man. Nice. Ooh, speedrun strats, shortcuts. <laughs> I'm being ridiculous, but that's that's okay. That is a hundred percent okay. Yeah, uh, you coming back, path? Oh, it goes all the way around like that. Interesting. So what's around the back? Because I'm not seeing a whole lot. But I feel like there's got to be something to warrant having such a path available. Right? Or am I just crazy? Is there something up here? Probably a moon? But I thought the whole point was to like... Hmm. I feel like that's where we gotta go. So I feel like this isn't where I should be. Oh. I see now. Alright, you're gonna help me out, bud. There was a nut in that little area. <laughs> that's why. It was of relevance. Oh, I can go through that. That's good to know. Alright, then we'll get that moon as well. Two moons in one tower. Interesting. We'll take it. Give me that moon. Alright, then back over here we go. We can go the, the slow route up. I want to know what these enemies are called. They're, they're actually pretty cute. I actually like playing as them quite a bit. And it looks like we're pretty much at the battle in the Sky Garden Tower. Dang, this place is beautiful. Oh, wait. I saw some bolts over there in the corner. Well, I know I'll be coming back regardless. Who are we going to battle this time? Too late, chumps. We snagged the Sore bouquet already. Now why don't you scram so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram. Or I'll just make you scram. Gotcha. So who are you? <laughs> oh my. So obviously that's his deal. The poison and everything. Makes a lot of it. Okay, so I literally just need to clear a path. Hit him. Oh, we'll go on the flowers this time. That's good to know. <laughs> this is a pretty straightforward fight, if you ask me. But that's okay. It's certainly interesting. I love the aesthetics of everything I've seen in this game so far, really. Aw, oh, man. That's alright, we can just jump on him, and I think that'll be the final hit. I should really take advantage of the homing attack with, uh, with Cappy. Ooh. I was gonna say we can backflip into the multi-moon. Man, that was quick. We're, we're collecting these moons really fast. Like, really fast, guys. I don't know if this is standard for the game, or if it's just because it's the earlier worlds and they're not intended to be that, that crazy difficult, but we are, we're moving really quickly through these kingdoms. Yeah. Path to the secret flower field? Flower fields? Are we playing Paper Mario? Alright, I guess. I mean, we could... 
Did I see something just land up there? I think we could actually power up the... The hat again? The Odyssey? I think we can actually power it up and go somewhere else. Not that I necessarily want to, but I want to see. I think... Would we have the option to go to another kingdom if we wanted to? Oh, we're so close. Only needs three more. Dang. Alright, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Obviously, we can go back to Cascade Kingdom. Because I think we only got like six there before we left. Which is pretty crazy. But, anyways... I'm going to call it here, it's already been 40 something minutes, and we've already explored so much of this kingdom in addition to finishing up the last. I'm, again, I'm still loving this game, I hope you guys are enjoying watching it, I hope you guys are enjoying the platforming and taking in all the breathtaking environments. The challenge of this game doesn't seem to be too much there, but that's okay. Like I said, it's got a Pikmin vibe. Like, look at this. Just walking through the floor, the forest, you see the butterflies, all of like the brush on the floor, coins to find, little secrets, little nooks and crannies that may might contain a power moon. There, there's so much that's just a great experience about this game. Who knows? Maybe it'll get really more, much more difficult later, and I'll just rage quit at some point. But for now, I'm, I'm loving the personality of this game, and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.